Well, African football and African football is so prevalent now on the world stage. And now 14 African nations congregate, all hungry and vying for success. Winner takes all, and I'm sure this opener will be an intriguing game. we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature the national anthem of Tunisia rings out They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem, now to match it. So the teams are ready to go as we all bask just for a moment in that special feel-good factor. You tend only to get on days like this. Do you know what? I think that's true, Peter. I think fans and players alike need to, to change every so often and a different feel from the standard routine and this creates a whole new excitement and let's get to it. So we're up and running. Forward it goes. Gets it back. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Pinged forward. Cuts it out. Decent looking ball. Can he dig out a shot? Oh, it's going for goal! Massive goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and a long way that continues. Beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Sackney with a delicate ball. Fence has got rid of that. Right towards the front men. it out wide a 
And now the breakaway. Finds himself eased off the ball. Has a goal! Outcome. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. So that's two now without reply. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Gets into a dangerous position. Breaks on here, plays it out to the wing. Come back to the keeper. Better. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. A poorly directed kick from the keeper. He's given it away. And he has been fouled there. Played, he saw that coming. Hoists it forward. Has he found his man? Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Chip through. Defending of the desperate variety. Sakni is flagged offside. And it's played forward. And it's Kasri. And it's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Tunisia get themselves back into contention. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. And here's the chance to counter. Kazri. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. Oh, real danger here! Tunisia can counter now. Referee's had a look, and he's played his whistle for half-time. So a really good half of football, three goals, and just one separating them. 
It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. And if you're just back from your break, we've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Forward it goes. It's got paid to a promising move. Kalashri gets it out to the wing. Tunisia couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Hoists it high. And that's been won straight back. So can they find a way to turn around this deficit? And it's Kasri. And the through ball is intercepted. A real chance to break. It's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. He's left his man. Of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defense like that. Kalashri tries lifting it over, he's got away a chance in with a header, and he's there to hoof it away. Time to deliver. Crosses it in. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. And the weighted pass. And he just whacks it away. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Dinks one in. Slitty. Tunisia are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Neatly flicked on. Well, the lead may be fragile, but the keeper was focused and strong. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Kalsri is being withdrawn here, but he certainly made his mark. Yeah, he'll get a good ovation for his contribution. I'm not so sure why he's leaving us, though. There's no obvious sign of, of injury or fatigue. Should have equalised. Now, that'll be a major disappointment for him. That should have got his team back in the game. Tunisia making another change here. Rapidly approaching the end. Tunisia are staring a first-round exit in the eye. And he's there to clear it. Well weighted. Tunisia need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Lobs it in gently. He's made sure that that won't get through. It's being played forward. Gets away from real chance! Trying to get there. A chance to play it in. Great leap! No, he didn't quite 
meets it right. That's it. They are out. Tunisia out at the first hurdle. Hugely disappointed to fall so soon. To summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim. Well, this will be hard to take, but they've gone down in, in fighting spirit, and that could be a slight consolation for them.